God is saying to you today. My child, I have never failed you. I will never fail you. I love you. Can hear the disappointment in your voice. I can feel the frustration in your soul. You are right, things ain't too well in your life, are not going too we are but understand that you are not defeated. The victory is already yours. I love you. Oh my child, I can feel your fragile heart hurting. I don't want you to hurt any longer. Come to me. I will revive you. I love you. It's the start of a new week. I want you to focus on today. Get what needs to be done today. Tomorrow will have its own worries. I am with you. You're not a bad person. You've just made some mistakes. I am with you, and forgive you. I love you. I need you know that you can talk to me about anything. I sense the discomfort in your soul. I sense that you want to tell me something. Talk to me. I need you to have patience. You can do it. I don't want you to seek revenge. Revenge rot in your soul, and the only person happy about it is the devil. Don't make the devil happy. I'll restore you. I love you. I need you to start focusing on the things that need to be done. You have been starting many things, but not completing them. Come to me. I will give you strength. I love you. You are not incapable of being loved. You may have done some horrible things in the past, but I will forgive you. I still love you. There is hope. God says, I am your God. Do not be dismayed. I will strengthen you. I am for you, not against you. I love you. I will guide you out of any difficult situation. I want to help you, but you need to seek me and ask. I know what you need. I can feel your pain. I am here. I love you. Dear God, please be the pilot of my life. I don't want to go down the wrong path any longer. I want to make you proud. I desire you, Lord. You provide one dot in true happiness. I love you. God says, my child, I am by your side. Things can go wrong on earth, but I need you to remember that earth is not heaven. There will be troubles, but I will never leave you. I love you. Things will not always go your way. I need you to be willing to accept this truth. I want you to be set free from anger, frustration, and resentment. Dear God, I have prayed and asked you for what I need. I will praise you if I receive it, and I will praise you if I don't receive it. Your ways are higher than mine. I trust you. I love you. God says, my child, the sadness that you feel is only temporary. It will go and it can return, but it will not last forever. Rest assured that I will bring you happiness. I love you. God says, be careful of what you fill your life with. If you fill it with negativity and evil, then you will experience negativity. However, if you fill it with my goodness and peace, then you will experience true pleasure. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to feel down at times, but it is not okay to live in those feelings forever. Give me those strong emotions. I will take care of you. 
I love you. It's time to take a step back. Take a break and do something that you enjoy doing. Relax your mind. You have been thinking too much. My child, I can sense the anxiety in your life. You have been overestimating the probability of bad things happening, and underestimating the power that I have. I am bigger than your anxiety. Turn your worries to me. I love you. God says, I created you in my image you add beauty to this world. I love you. I created you for a purpose. Your life has meaning. Being anxious is not a sin. Being depressed is not a sin. Allow those emotions to drive you closer to me. Know that I can heal you. I love you. Listen to my voice. I will guide you where to go. I will make your path straight. I will not fail you. God will grant you treasures beyond your imagination from heaven's window, which is brimming with riches beyond your wildest dreams. Receive them from what God has stored for you. The Lord is next to you to help you win your battles. So, Fix your eyes on him and he will grant you the wisdom and the understanding to succeed in all that you do. You are always precious to the Lord. No matter what the world says about you, he cares for you. He will uplift your soul with his presence and make you victorious. You are in God's training process walking in the high places of challenges. The Lord's mighty hand will mold you, deliver you and elevate you to great heights. Keep trusting the Lord and sing songs of praise unto Him. Do not be afraid of your circumstances for He will deliver you and establish you in double measure. The hope which we have in God will not put us to shame. When we receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit and get filled with the love of God, this hope will come into us. Discouragement is one of the many tools used by the devil to drift God's people away from God's blessings. Never fall in this trap. Continue to use your talents for God's glory. It's easy to find fault in others and hard to forgive them for their wrongdoings. But if we forgive them, our sins will be forgiven too. And it's possible only with the intervention of the Holy Spirit. God promises to be with His children and asks us to give all our worries to Him. He wants us to be His channel of love, joy, open to be powerful prayer intercessors, to save our fellow brothers and sisters. One who believes in Jesus will not walk in darkness but will have life in its fullness. Jesus will never fail nor forsake anybody who comes to him with great faith. He promises divine joy, peace and happiness. Love for money is a form of evil. Desire for more of it leads you to pain and sorrow. Depend on the Lord for all your resources and allow the Holy Spirit to take control of everything in your life. You crown the year with your goodness, and your paths drip with abundance. Who redeems your life from destruction? who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Live your life fruitfully for your Creator. The materialistic things are all transient in this world. 
God alone gives you the glory, strength, beauty for each day. Look to Jesus and hold on to his promises, rather than at your struggles and troubling situation. Let not your faith waver in the Lord. Trust in the Lord always and focus on him alone. God will always be faithful to you. Though you may deviate from his ways, but still God wants all his children back. He has given you the spirit to call him, Abba Father. God says, my child, I didn't cause you suffering. However, I can help you get through the suffering. I love you. Like this video and share this with all your family and friends if you truly believe in God.